Hi, it is Ayit Gam time again. So I have many requests asked me to do a details by evidence comparison between Tai Chi Chuan and Wing Chun. And uh, so here it is. I'd like to share with you. This video will be only for those who is seriously uh, like to know what Wing Chun Queen is about. Okay. And uh, the key words is be a professional Wing Chun Queen. Now, it is very important that we really clearly know what are we doing, what are we practicing. Otherwise, we invest our time, our money, and we were going to get nowhere. Okay. And there are four criteria which I make it systematic for everybody is momentum, power type, mechanics, and body condition. Every professional need to ask these four questions. What is the momentum? What is the characteristic of the momentum? What is the power type? What is the mechanics? What is the body condition? Okay. This is the building block of a martial arts style. And every uh, martial arts style actually have a different type of momentum characteristic, different type of power type, different mechanics, and different body conditioning. Okay? If we really want to be professional Wing Chun, we really want to get something out of our training instead of wasting our time, wasting our life, wasting our money for years over years, decade over decade, go nowhere, we need to get serious with this. Okay? This is a science. This is not some kinds of uh, legend or movie. So, do not get stuck in the internal and external qi, the internal jing or power, I believe, I think, or any daydream or any movie. Because you think about it, you spend your money and time to practice Wing Chun. And even if we do not want to talk about this uh, virtue and code of moral, if we look at Ming Chun as a product or service, you want to get result instead of keeping, invest in it and get nothing back. Okay? It has to be this reasonable or this fair, even you know we don't want to talk about the high level moral code, okay? Otherwise, we are a fraud and we are cheating. And actually, we are just blind, uh, leading by other blinds. So, if we love Wing Chun, we love ourselves, we don't do those kind of stuff. Okay. In order to talk about the reality of Wing Chun Queen, we need to go to General Chi Ji Guang's writing in... 1560. Okay, this is the absolute reference of Chinese martial arts because this is real thing. Okay, now over here, very important, very critical here is he talk about momentum. Momentum. Okay, momentum. He defined the name of the game and what is the mastering of the martial art means. Means handling momentum. Okay. Momentum. So the bottom line of fighting and martial art is momentum. This is all supporting stuff. Okay, don't get this wrong. Okay. Now in this article, in this writing of his book, there are two categories or two system or two type which he mentioned. This is the long fist type and this is the short strike type. Okay? Now, looking at this, 
he also talk about the mechanics here okay and different type of arts and of course different art have different momentum and power type body mechanics body conditioning okay each of every one of the the, the art all will have these four things for elements there okay now there is nowhere in this in this writing talk about say anything about internal art or external art none okay and seriously this thing is using for preparing training his army or imperial guard to against the Japanese pirate samurai sword okay so they need to face life and death under the samurai sword and where they say anything about internal and external none okay so they have zero saying of uh, internal external under the samurai sword they have to face life and death there okay but they do here do say long fist short strike long fist short strike okay also around this place there is no such thing talking about chi magic power which can bounce people all those kind of stuff okay it talk about one thing momentum okay momentum so we like it or not this is the reality of Chinese martial art 1560 okay by the real coach of the imperial guard and the general who defeat the Japanese pirate and settle the coast of China read about him in history okay now there is a list here on the long fist now let's look at this this is an investigation research on Tai Chi Chen Tai Chi particularly okay Chen Tai Chi and it is identified that Chen Tai Chi is actually using this thing okay if you look at that in this highlight in this highlight that is where Chen Tai Chi evolved and created from this General Chi Chi Guang's book okay so this is from General Chi Chi Guang 1560 okay so this is by evidence okay if there's internal art or Chen Tai Chi is before 1560 then it will be recorded here but it is not existed okay and what it found is on reverse Chen Tai Chi is using the general Chi Chi Guang's informations so that's how clear it is and one thing we have to be really extremely clear is this is belongs to the long fist long fist category remember there's a short, short strike here this is a long fist okay this is proven by evidence okay it's not i believe you believe no we don't talk about belief you don't talk about i'm honestly tell you this no we go by evidence okay so it is like uh, in the justice department it is blind okay we look at that we wait the thing we don't uh, take sight 
we just wait what it is. Now, looking at the so-called internal art, uh, the Taiji, Zhanzhuang uh, type of stuff, this is what we see today. And I want to particularly call your attention on their elbow. Because the elbow actually will tell you about the mechanics. And thus it tells you about the power type and the momentum because it needs to support the momentum type. Okay, so look at look at the 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 uh, the elbow here. Okay. Now let's get to Yang Tai Ji. This is the grandmaster. Yang Chen Pu, okay? Look at his elbow, look at how his body move, okay? Look at his, uh, his, his, his uh, momentum type, okay? Now, look at Chen Tai Ji, look at how the elbow and how the body type, the body momentum type, okay? You see this is more straight here, and this is more slant like this, okay? And we know Yang Tai Ji is based on Chen Tai Ji, okay? So we know from here, you can trace back to 1560, it is belong to the long face art. Okay? We go by, by, by evidence. It's not you believe, I believe, those kind of stuff. And what we can say is this. Due to it is this type of long face art, it has its momentum characteristics. It has its more momentum characteristics. It has its power type, its mechanic, and its body conditioning. What does does you can see the long fist signature? Okay. So let's go to next. Now, this is by uh, Mr. Zhang Henqiu, who lived in 1700. This is a record of short strike. And this is the posture of the short strike versus this internal art type of uh, posture. You look at the elbow, 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 elbow. You look here. The elbow is close to the core. Okay, it is not this type of stuff. It is not this type of the elbow round up type of stuff. Okay, it is the elbow which is close to the core. And this is short strike. Okay, this is short strike art. And okay, this is Mr. Zhang. Okay. And let's look at here. Short strike. This is called Mian Zhang. Mian Zhang Duan Da. Mian Zhang short strike. Okay. So that is what is recorded in 1700s. Okay. This clear. Now you get this, like this, uh, we know that this is the grandmaster of Yang Tai Ji, this is the grandmaster of the Chen, this is the grandmaster of Chen Tai Ji, and this is a performer of Chen Tai Ji. This is how the signature, the momentum signature, the body, the, the, the power type, the uh, mechanics, and the uh, body conditioning, okay? So I can show you one thing. Over here, if you look at this, 
even though they are both Tai Chi, the way how he handled this and the way how this in Yang Tai Chi they handle it is different. So you know the body mechanic is different. It's still uh, uh, the same type of long fist momentum, but the body, uh, uh, the, the power type is uh, have variations. The uh, mechanic have variations. The body condition have the variation. This show you the mechanics and body condition have variations. Even though all the elbow here same stuff okay now that is not short strike that is not short strike okay so we don't go by I believe I think my research the older books we go direct to exactly where it is we show the evidence okay now Let's look at Wing Chun and let's look at the momentum of this art in fighting because momentum is very important, right? This is Yang Tai Chi, this is Chen Tai Chi. Look at the momentum. This is what we call Wing Chun here and this is the short strike. So this is a long fist, this is a short strike, this is from the descendant of the Zhang family. 1700. Remember? This is Chen Tai Chi, the descendant of uh, Chen Tai Chi. This is Yang Tai Chi. Now, asking yourself a question. Asking yourself a question. Asking ourselves a question. Is Wing Chun the short strike art or this type of art? Look at the body mechanics. Look at the body mechanics. Look at the body type. Look at the momentum, momentum characteristic. Okay? Look at the, what I call the body signature. Body signature. Okay? We all know, based on evidence, Okay. This is so strike up. And in the movie, the Yip Man movie, we know the Yip Man character said Wing Chun is our southern sticking body short strike up. Okay? That is what it is. You get the short strike from, okay, from 1560 and then 1700 and then today, okay, 2016. You look at that, okay, the same thing you look at the long fist from 1560, the research, okay, of the Chen Tai Chi, okay, which is uh, 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 in the, in, in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, after the 1560, the beginning of this century, okay, beginning of this century stuff, and here, 1947. Okay, and we all know Chen Xiaowang is uh, is uh, at this period of time. Okay, two thousand sixteen. So it is this clear. Okay, it is this clear. Wing Chun is a sticking body short strike. The ancestor didn't lie to us. It tell us exactly what it is. Okay. It tells us exactly what it is. Okay? And this is real guy. 
Okay, General Chi Chi Guang is the real guy. No, no, some kinds of uh, Taoist, Zen master. Okay, and this guy really lived under the samurai sword attack. Okay. Now, so, this is the reality, okay? How is a Tai Chi momentum type, power type, mechanics, body conditioning going to fit in a, a, a Wing Chun while it is since, uh, since 1560s, General Chi Chi Guang who used uh, his art, his army, to train his army to fight the Japanese under the samurai sword who already break it down saying that they are different art. Okay? How are we today want to claim that Tai Chi is, uh, is Wing Chun? Why don't we accept who we are? Okay? By evidence. Now, let's look at this. Grandmaster Yit Man, like it or not, it is uh, our grandmaster in the past generations. Like it or not, it is our model. Okay? Bruce Lee, like it or not, it is actually the person who is responsible for Wing Chun to be popular in the world, worldwide. We need to thank him, okay? Now, just look at that, that picture of Chi Sao. Is Grandmaster Yip Man doing this kind of Tai Chi stuff or is he doing the short strike stuff? Look at his body signature. Okay? We know, okay, from this evidence, we know from this evidence, <coughs> really clearly, his body signature is this type. If you get in the real fight, his body signature is this type. Okay, you look at his elbow here, okay, the elbow, the elbow, the elbow, the elbow here, okay. That's reality. It got nothing to do with this type of uh, 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 momentum characteristics. Okay, it's a different art. Now, over here in the same token, we can read Bruce Lee. He is not doing what Grandmaster Yip Man do, the short strike art. He is not doing that. Look at his elbow. Okay. Look at how is this thing. Long fist stuff. This is a long fist. This is a short strike. Is this clear? Okay. Now. Short strike. The reason why it is here is because in today's physics, it is using what we call the mechanical advantage. Okay, in physics. This is physics, Newtonian physics. Okay, this is the formula for the mechanical advantage. Well defined. Okay, that's why this, the shoulder, the elbow has to be closing to the core, the short load arm. Okay, if you want to use the, the, the physics. This thing, you look at this, this, uh, this leg is pointed out, this thing. That is preparing for the tour. We know it by physics today. What is the mechanics? Okay? So if we want to talk about... If we want to talk about this... If we want to talk about the momentum, power type, mechanics, body condition, it is very clear. Okay? Let's go there for that. This is the bottom line, the momentum characteristics. 
Okay, the momentum characteristic is not this. It's not this type. It has this type of mechanics. This type of mechanics. And it have is due to this type of mechanic, it has its power type. Okay? Which is developed by the mechanic. And then the body conditioning of this short load arm and then the torque is the characteristics okay that's what it is by evidence of the past by physics scientific okay now let's look at this let's look at this Are you going to tell me that the farging, the force, the chi of Tai Chi applicable to Wing Chun Queen? When the entire thing is a different thing since 1560? Are we think that all the uh, the 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 martial art of the China since fifteen sixty are idiot and only us here is uh, smart that uh, Tai Chi is equal to Wing Chun. Uh, we think that uh, General Chi Chi Guang who fought the Japanese pirate under samurai sword with minimum casualty record in the in the in the uh, Chinese history are idiot doesn't understand this thing where he wrote that book so if you want to look at reality the reality of Wing Chun if you want to be a professional who use this criteria with the history evidence and physics or doing scientific way that is the result we know right in front of our eyes what it is okay saying that saying that sure anybody is free anybody is free to, uh, to, to create a Tai Chi Wing Chun. Okay? That's fine. You're using the Tai Chi and then you just use some Wing Chun move. That's fine. Okay? Or you want to say, uh, within your sets, within your uh, Wing Chun sets, say uh, you want to, uh, you, you, uh, within your Wing Chun set, you want to uh, like uh, 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 put this the yin so inside your set, or you want to put this uh, inside. Your set. That's fine. You know, it's everybody is up to their creativity. Okay, uh, we should respect everybody's uh, creativity. We we should really really uh, expect everybody's uh, imagination creativity. But you know what? Don't call it Wing Chun Kui, because it is not. Since 1560, it is not Wing Chun Kui. Call it your name. That's why uh, Bruce Lee here called his art Jet Kune Do. He's honest. He know what he's doing. He's respected. Okay? He can stand on his feet. That's why he called it Wing Chun Kui. He doesn't rip off. Uh, he called Jack Kondo, he doesn't rip off Wing Chun Kui. And we have to thank him because without him, how can Wing Chun spread today? No way, right? And also, one thing I like to say lately, people keep getting this uh, Grandmaster Yip Man's uh, uh, video and so forth uh, and using it for whatever purpose. And I tell them one thing. 
That video is when Grandmaster Yip Man is very sick. Okay, he's dying. And he used his heart try to preserve as much he can for the uh, next generations. If we want to use him to read his body signature and his Kung Fu, use this one when he's healthy. Don't use somebody who is almost dying and uh, an and old age. Okay? Do we want to use uh, the Grandmaster uh, when he's in the bed, uh, dead bed, okay? Uh, 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 his picture as a uh, as or uh, his his his, his uh, video as the as the uh, as the uh, uh, reference to critic or to do whatever. We don't do those kind of stuff. Okay. So, it has to be, if we want, if we really want to be serious to know about the reality of Wing Chun King. It has to be. Like this. It has to be by evidence, scientific, and have a humanity there. Not keeping using uh, Grandmaster Yip Man's uh, before pass away video to, to critique him or anything. Okay? Today's society, we live in a really advanced uh, society where artificial intelligence is coming or it already exists. Are we serious? We still want to do those uh, fantasy daydream stuff? Don't we worry about if we keep doing those daydreaming, we're going to replace everybody, we'll get replaced by the AI? So think about it, okay? And uh, everybody is free to think what they want to think. My job, my duty for Wing Chun, as a Wing Chuner, you know, as all of you, I have no different than all of you out there. Okay, we are the same level. My duty is I know this, I share this. So that everybody know what is the facts there. So this is for you today.